Hello year three and welcome to your maths video for today. Now it is Tuesday the 2nd of February and we write the short date as 02.02.2021. And we've got two learning objectives for today that we are going to be meeting. And we are going to be looking at using, um, to use sorting diagrams to compare and sort numbers. And to, oh, I've done a capital there, to describe and extend number sequences, including counting on or back in different steps. Now, what we're going to do first of all is a My Maths activity. Okay, I've set you that. So before watching the rest of this video, I'd like to go and do your My Maths activity. Once you've done that, you can come back to the video. And your My Maths activity is all on the eight times table. Off you go, year three, if you've not done that already. So once you've done that My Maths activity, we are going to be looking at this. Now this is a Venn diagram and it's two circles that meet in the middle. And you can see I've got one circle there, one circle there, and there's a gap in the middle. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort these numbers all around, okay? Now some might got be a multiple of two. And if they are, I'm going to put them in here. Some might be a multiple of five. So if they are, I'll put them in here. Some might be both and if they're both I'm going to put them in the middle there where the two circles cross over and meet because that shows it's both a multiple of two and a multiple of five. Now some numbers might not even fit into it and if that's the case and that's absolutely fine what you do then you leave them on the outside just to show that they don't go into the Venn diagram. So let's have a try with this. So I've got the number 10. Now let's count in twos and see if it is a multiple of 10. So two, four, six, eight, ten. It is. Right, so keep that in your heads. But I also know that five goes into ten twice. Okay, so it's both a multiple of two and a multiple of five. So I'm going to put it in the middle here. Now I've got 14. So the number 14. I know it's not a multiple of five because it doesn't end in a zero or a five. Okay, so let's try a multiple of two. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, it is. So I'm going to put it in here, super duper. Now the next one, it doesn't end in a, in a zero and it doesn't have a five, so I know it's not a multiple of five. Let's try two. Zero, two, four. It goes in the multiple of two. The next one, 16. Now let's count two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. It goes in 16. It's not a multiple of five because it doesn't end in a zero or a five. So it goes in multiples of two. The next one, seven. Now I know it doesn't go in the multiples of five because it doesn't end in a zero or five. Two, four, six, eight. I've gone past it. Two, four, six, eight. It doesn't go in either, does it? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move that over here just so that I know I've looked at that number. Let's look at this one now. Two, four, six, eight. So it's definitely a multiple of two. What about a multiple of five? Zero, five, ten, no. So it's a multiple of two. We've got lots of multiples of two there, haven't we? Let's start with this one now. Five, 10, 15. It's a multiple of five. Let's see if it's a multiple of two. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Oh, it's not a multiple of two, is it? So that goes in my multiples of five. Now, I know that that's a multiple of five. That's an easy one, isn't it? Is it a multiple of two though? Two, four, six. No, it's not. So I can put that in multiples of five too. Now I've got the number zero here. Hmm. Is that in the two times table? And is it in the five times table? It's in both, isn't it? So I'm going to pop it in the middle. 20. Now I know that two goes into 20. Two, four, six, eight, 10. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. But I also know that five goes into it. Five, 10, 15, 20. So it goes in both. Three, Ooh. two, four, six. No, no, it doesn't work, does it? What about five? Zero, five, no, gone past it. So that goes near the number seven because it doesn't fit in either, does it? And my last one is 12. So I know it's not a multiple of five because it doesn't end in a zero or a five. What about two? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Oh, it's a multiple of two. So we're going to pop that in there. 
then the next activity what you're going to be looking at is missing number sequences now you have absolutely smashed these over the past few weeks so what I've done is I've done them on a mix of different multiplication tables okay different times tables now these are just Miss Dunn's Miss Dunn has done different ones for you so what we're going to do first of all we need to identify what it's counting up in okay so let's have a look at this first one it goes two four <gasps> We know already with this one, don't we? It's going up in twos. So two, four, what's the next one going to be? Year six? Year, year, oh, year three is going to be six, isn't it, silly Miss Dunn? Two, four, six, eight. What is it? Ten. What do you think the next one might be then? Ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 18. Imagine if you were year six. That would be crazy, wouldn't it? Let's try the next one. So 70. Mm, mm. Oh, this one's tricky, isn't it? 70. Mm, mm. 40. 30. Mm, 10. Well, I know if I look at this one here, I know that there's a difference of 10. Okay. So let's try and work these out first. So 40, 30. And if I'm doing another jump of 10, it looks like I'm subtracting 10, doesn't it? What's 30 subtract 10? 20. This is making much more sense now. So 40, 30, 20, 10, and subtract another 10, it will be zero. So now what we can do, we can count backwards and we can work out by adding 10 each time, can't we? So zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I write my 50 in there. What would be next then? Year three? 50, 60. Ooh, that's a bit of a jazzy six, isn't it? Right, let's look at this next one. So this one's been two times tables. There we go. This one has been 10 times tables. I wonder what this one's going to be. So three, six. What's the difference between three and six? It's three, isn't it? So it looks like we're going to be counting up in three, though. I don't know what happened there. There we go. So three, let's do another three there to show that we know what we're counting in. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, twelve, another three. What would that be? Adding another three to twelve, it would be fifteen. This is where practicing your times tables comes in really, really in handy, doesn't it? So 15, 18, add another three. 21. 24, add another three to 24. 25, 26, 27. And then add three to 27 is what, year three? It would be 30. It's a good job I didn't call you year 30 then, isn't it? Right, I hope that makes sense. There's lots and lots of these for you to practice and try today. Any problems, just send me a message on Class Dojo. Good luck and I'll see you soon. Bye, year three, four, six.